Jacko Calder's kicked those first two goals. Her score is currently two goals to 14 to zero to Palmy. And St. Mary's are just playing their run and carry game as they do best, dodgy. Yeah, definitely. And they, they just stretch you in the defences. But Palmy's having a shot on goal here. And it's in the goals. Who was that? <laughs> I can't see from him. <laughs> he down there? Our cameras are working. Palmy's going to attack this there. They're going pretty hard at the footy. Makes it hard for Amory there. As he's got a three on one. And Palmy's can get it out, out to Anu. And use quick hands, and they'll get a downfield free kick from this. Just collected the player after the kick. Big up, he can get the ball up to the podium and get a mark in here. So he comes in. He's probably about 70 out, Ooh. but he's out of ping at that. He's <laughs> got none under it. What, what do I know about footy? <laughs> <Evans>. <laughs> he's kicked a beauty. It, that was a lovely kick. It's at least 70 metres. That's a magic kick from a, a guy that's not eight foot tall. So fantastic. Sorry for doubting you. Yeah. Play resumes, and they've switched it out to Dorset through Dorset on the far side, but St. Mary's have managed to get hands to the footy first. A high up and under kick. Jacko Calder there. Can he take it? Wolf comes in for the beautiful spoil, but Saints have numbers front and centre. Shrugs one defender. Gets a hands to Jacko. He's not selfish. Gets it back. Saints are doing all the work. He gets it to Valigio. Valigio to Parker Fawcett, the youngster. And he'll come in and kick St. Mary's sixth goal for this game. And Fantastic. Great recognition. So umpire's call to play on. A dangerous kick straight up the guts, but good contest from Selwood coming in from the side. But St. Mary's pick it up and have a shot on goal, and they'll kick the first of the second quarter. Beautiful goal, only just down that forward pocket in the, uh, at the, the city end. So Trey Burnell with the bleached hair will bring this one in, and a great punch there from St. Mary's through Batke. And they'll come in, and they'll turn that one straight over and kick a goal. Yeah, they punish you if you do that. You can't be uh, making those sort of mistakes on the back line. Um, <laughs> They're looking to the goal square. Great body work there, but in front was Jacob Long. He gets a 1-2 and he gets it outside the 50. Coming over the top, beautiful contested grab there by Kent. And very clever play from Jacob Long then. Just Armiston, and they'll come out wide. It's going to be a contest from Catapulis. Jacob Long with the strength and the... And the body there, he gets a quick hands, kept his hands free. Great play from Jacob Long there. He just he just dominated that play. So he's coming board. Wilson just loses his feet but recovers quickly. He's got a teammate free inside 50, and that's Antelove. Antelove will come in. Can he kick it on the left? Very skillful football from uh, Wilson and Antelove there. Just just knew exactly what to do, and, and he did a good recovery. I mean, like So Palmerston... Cut back into the middle. Great kick. Beautiful kick down. He's got a runner. And he'll go inside 50. He's spotted a teammate. And that oh. is... Back-to-back <laughs> -back goals. A lovely goal. Yep, I think uh, someone's just called out. Here they come. And I think they're probably right. That's it. <laughs> but now a beautiful one-handed pickup. He takes them on and he just drops it there. Strong tackle by St. Mary's. He'll come in and casually find Luke Davey. So he'll, so he's coming in. Nice steadied run up. Doesn't quite come off nice off the boot, but it's going through the big sticks. Yep. They've been doing all day. They'll switch it. Goes to O'Brien. O'Brien comes in board to Lant. That's Jack Lant. Lant's got. Plays calling for it everywhere. Can't quite take it. Parnell cleans that one up. Oh, he has a look play. on goal. He snaps it. Well played, Parnell. That was fantastic. Just one of those front and centre goals. Um, and he just roved it beautifully. Beautiful kick. And uh, just lined it up. So straight through the big ones. Must have been about to clear it out here. But cut off there by St. Mary's in Parnell. Some controversy with those rounds <laughs> last week. But we're an inclusive, <laughs> inclusive league. And everyone is welcome. And everyone should be feel safe playing football in the NTFL. So we're inside 50 now for St. Mary's. A snap around the corner. Well, I and think he's, he's got it. Kicked it. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, here. Yeah. He looks to switch to Somerville. Good contest there. And O'Brien snap around the body. <coughs> Finds Hodges. Hodges has got a runner in Lant. That's Jack Lant. He's going to have a dob. Did oh, he kick I it? I think he kicked it. What a goal. Oh. Such a goal. Jack Lant. Just this is one thing, but footy IQ is the other. As the ball goes up, Powered almost looks like a throw down to his teammate, but Smithson's on the end of that. He finds Robinson. Easy clearance again. Robinson dribbles it in. Valijo read it best. He's going to come in. Chopper Jr. That is beautiful work, St. Mary's. 
Can't, tra can't teach that. And there to clean it up, but Palmerston in numbers. Ed Edmonds has this one. He's got a teammate in the pocket. It slips straight through the hands. Will Robertson still doing it, still running around, still putting the spoils on. Uh, he's just, a, he, for mine, they're the sort of players that are going to build these, this side into a really good side come finals time in March. An accidental free kick, but it was there. West switches it across. Almost caught the runner out. And there it is. <laughs> Here you go. A big, big win <laughs> to, uh, to Palmerston, 124 to 34. And look, they just, once again, they got on top in that last quarter. They got their kicking boots straight. Uh, some great players in, in amongst there with... Uh, with uh, Dylan Land, Jack Land, uh, Peter Fawcett, I thought, Parker, sorry, Parker Fawcett, I thought he was fantastic um, as a young player, just setting a few things up. And, of course, you can't take it away from Calder with six goals.